Welcome back to Hylix. I want to show you what having all three Sage Tokens does. I previously had a video describing what this does up on my channel for about five hours, but then I took it down because a, uh, a comment that somebody left made me realize that I totally messed up. Uh, you see, when you put all three Sage Tokens in the receptacles and then use the TV, it gives you a special ability called Legend of Melting. As you can see on the bottom right of my abilities there. Costs 200 will. So I got Legend of Melting, and I went and used it on some enemies, and I found out that, much to, my, much to my disappointment, it didn't have a combat animation. And that's where I messed up. As someone told me, um, it actually does have a combat animation, I just accidentally left my battle animations off in the settings. Whoops. Yeah. So, slight mistake. So for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to show you uh, where to get it, or me putting the the sage token in the receptacles or anything like that. I just want to show you what the actual ability does. If you want to know where to get the sage token that I was missing, um, check out my sage token locations guide. Alright, so this is what the actual ability that you get from it does. So, it's an AoE. Well, basically an AoE. It, um, it strikes three random foes. And here it is. <laughs> yeah, so basically it seems to just cause instant death to anything it strikes. However, I am only testing this out after I've already finished the game. Which means all my characters' stats are absolutely ridiculous. They're up into the thousands. Which I think increases my damage to an absurd degree, so... You know, if I use this before finishing the game, and having my characters buffed up so much, would it actually basically be a guaranteed kill on every enemy? Or would it just be really powerful? I don't actually know. We can actually kind of test this. Let's see what normal damage does. So it's doing like a thousand, basically. Hmm. Hmm, it's hard to tell. It seems like it's peaking at 999. Yeah, so it just seems like your basic attack at, uh, damage is kind of clipped off, so I don't actually know how much more powerful my super special magic is. Um, but yeah, it seems to be a just a very, very powerful AoE. And it's nice to see that it does actually indeed have an attack animation. Unfortunately, though, it's still disappointing. You know, before I was super disappointed because I thought it didn't have an attack animation at all. Which it turns out it does. And it looks pretty cool, but... I, I don't know, I mean, it's really hard to get the Sage Tokens. To the point where I... I had to ask for help to where to even find the third Sage Token, despite the fact that I had been pretty thorough in exploring the world. I still managed to miss one, so you really do have to work for the Sage Tokens. And the last one that you get, the, uh, the Sage of Death. That one is, like, it's really, really late in the game. It's very late in the game. To the point where, if you get it after reaching that point in the game, you're really close to the end. And so having this ability that allow, that helps you in combat so close to the end of the game feels pretty pointless. It's so, it still feels disappointing. Like, I was expecting more. I didn't just want... I didn't just want a combat ability. I wanted something more... Like, I thought, I thought I was going to find out the meaning of life through these Sage Tokens. Or maybe have a funny ability or something like that. Not just a simple combat ability. Ah, well. So, there you go. That's what having all three Sage Tokens allows you to do.